if you have a BMW with a non-working key fob, it may not unlock your vehicle. This is a working remote. The other one was non-working. Inside the car, the faulty remote still allows you to start the car. Some BMW key fobs have rechargeable lithium batteries. This is the replacement battery. But a key fob is plastic sealed. There is no opening compartment. This piece came off when I was trying to open the key fob. As you can see, it is fully sealed. The internal battery is charged when the fob is inserted into the dash. You can remove the physical key It is sealed inside the key slot as well. This fine disc in a Dremel will help us to open the key fob. Be careful as the board is just inside the plastic shell. If you try and just cut it open with a knife, you could slip. Carefully grind in the slot. We want to grind so that we can just break through the plastic. Use the finest disc you can find. You can weaken all sides. When the join line is thin, you can cut through with a knife. When the knife is used, do not cut far into the case. Here, a blade is used to open the key fob. If you cut too far in, the internal board can be damaged. Weakening three sides allows you to hinge the case open. We're going to leave one side weakened but not cut through. As the case opens you will see the circuit board. While it is hinged open, you can slip the PCB out. The board has buttons on one side. The other side has the battery attached. You can just heat the joints, but I'm using a desoldering gun. This heats and then sucks the solder out. The battery just falls out of the PCB. The new battery is soldered in place. Keep pressure on the battery to make sure it seats when you heat the joints. Check that the joints are shiny and not dry. Test the remote before you seal it back into the case. You can buy new cases off eBay, etc. But here we'll just use JB Weld to glue the case back together. Carefully apply the glue as we do not want to glue onto the PCB. Spread a fine amount on both halves. Close the case and check for any gaps. Place the key fob in a soft jaw vise. Leave the key fob until the JB Weld sets. This remote was glued using Sika Tech Grip. So you can see the joins. 
This is the one we just did with the JB Weld. This is the slot that was weakened and used as a hinge. Thanks for watching.